Welcome to Webgility Recap, a series of videos aimed at getting you started using Webgility. In this video, we'll go over syncing inventory from your QuickBooks to your online store. Webgility has the ability to take your inventory in QuickBooks and copy the values directly into your online store. As stated in previous videos, this is going to be a manual process of doing so, and automation is always an option. The goal, however, is to make sure you're comfortable doing things manually first. To begin, in Webgility at the very top, go to Products and Sync Products. You'll be taken to a screen that may not have any items on it. If you're seeing Out of Sync Products and a zero, that means you either have no Out of Sync items or they haven't been listed in either your QuickBooks or store yet. To sync an item, make sure the item box is checked and choose whether you want to sync the price, the inventory, or both. Some people prefer not to sync price if there's an elected difference in price between online and brick and mortar. Whenever you're ready, if you hit the synchronize button, you'll be given a confirmation message letting you know that the sync was successful. Be aware that this may take some time uh, given how many, uh, how many items you're trying to sync and also be aware that some items may not allow negative values in inventory, which can cause an error in the sync. We have another video on syncing inventory that will cover some more nuanced options, but this should point you in the right direction and get you started off. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to reach out to our team or your implementation specialist for help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.